Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, this is the Beware spread. We have the Two of Wands clarified by Justice, we have the King of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups, and uh, we have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, or a Water Sign, Cancer, another Scorpio or Pisces. So I think this is going to be very specific for some of you Scorpio. So I see a couple of scenarios and unfortunately in both scenarios you're going to be left out in the cold. You're going to be left behind. So we do have this couple in the main spread. The King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or this person is very straightforward, very direct. They could be uh, cold as ice. And uh, we also have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this person is very nurturing down to Earth. So what's happening here is uh, I believe they are forming a couple. They are getting together. And uh, if you are already dating or in a relationship with one of those characters, or if you had big plans, if you have, if you were hoping to start a relationship with any of those two people then unfortunately your plans are going to fall through because these two people right there they're forming a couple and you're being left behind um, so the first card I came out is the two of ones and it's clarified by justice so the two of ones is somebody either the king of swords or the queen of pentacles is making a decision to be with the, that person and with the justice card this is their decision this is their final decision Right, and uh, we have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, so this is them, one of them walking away from you and uh, ending the connection between uh, you and them. And uh, in the outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Swords with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is most likely you, Scorpio, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The Three of Pentacles is a card of uh, people working together, building something from the ground up, you know, and that was your hope, or this is what you were already starting to do with uh, one of those characters, and that unfortunately is going to fall through because they're leaving you, or they are choosing somebody instead of you. And uh, there you are with the Nine of Swords, just feeling sad and actually devastated. Yeah, so uh, there you go. If you can interpret this spread in any other way, uh, go ahead, please do so in the comments down below but that's what I see here unfortunately this person is either leaving you for another person or if you were hoping to be with this person this person will choose another person instead of you and uh, I usually do three spreads the second spread is usually about it an, an advice but um, to be honest with you there's nothing here to advise except for uh, looking for another person and uh, you will find somebody who will cherish you, somebody who will love you, somebody who will treat you right and stay with you forever and ever. And uh, let's move on to spread number three. We'll skip, uh, we'll skip spread number two and the third spread is about the next good thing that will happen to you. Scorpio, here's spread number three. This is uh, the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face spread. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Empress, and uh, we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. So it's a very symbolic spread. So the first card I came out is the Five of Wands. This is a card of a conflict, but for some reason I keep feeling that this is just unsettled energy just crap that keeps happening to you or you know something that doesn't go your way you know things that keep happening to you this unsettled energy or unsettled situation so that is going to become a thing of the past because the next card that came out is the six of swords the six of swords is a card of moving this is a card of moving out of choppy, choppy waters towards calmer waters and uh, the Six of Swords is also called the Rough Patch being over. So the Five of Wands is that Rough Patch. I don't know, 
how big of a patch it was. Could have been a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or a couple of years, but I do see things are starting to look much better for you. The next card that came out is the Ace of Swords, and it's clarified by the Empress, and we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So the Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces coming towards you, or it could be any sign. It's just love in general with the Knight of Cups. Love is on the way to you. And with the Ace of Swords, this is a brand spanking new beginning. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Empress. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Empress is um, the mother of the Tarot deck, so if having children is still an option for you, you could have children together with this new person. Um, the Empress is abundance in its purest form. So like I said, the next good thing that will happen to you is uh, you're leaving all that unsettled crap in the past and you're finally moving towards something more suited for you, something abundant. There's definitely love on the horizon for you with the Knight of Cups. And uh, the Ace of Swords, like I said, this is a brand new beginning. So yeah, there you go. I Unfortunately, I don't have uh, the timeline because I usually don't ask for a particular month. I'm, I just ask for the next good thing. So this is the next good thing. And I think it's pretty good. We, are, we have uh, one major arcana card, the Empress, and it's an amazing um, major arcana card. All right. So that's what I got for you, Scorpio. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, please like this video. And uh, other than that, have an amazing March. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.